Daddy? Hello there guys and welcome to that anxious gamer. Today I'm going to be taking you through a first look and overall review of the game Fall of Porcupine that released just yesterday, June 15th, 2023. I got this key from Keymailer and the game developers, but be assured this will not affect my review. If I think the game is good, I will definitely tell you. And if I think the game is crap, I will definitely tell you. So without further ado, let's get into the game. I'm going to take you through the options really quick in case if you were wanting to buy this, this is something you'd be interested in. I'm playing with a PS5 controller. This does have both mouse and keyboard support as well as full gamepad support. Uh, the options are limited, but they're pretty good in the sense of everything's very easy to navigate. The only thing that was weird, I did mess with the resolution and the HD. They only have two options, basically. It's HD or 4K. I play on 2K, so I'm not sure what that... Like, the odd, I guess, is 4K or HD. And when I change it to 4K, it would always change back. So just be aware of the resolution option, not as good as it could be. Um, in terms of the sound, I've turned things a little bit down so the game audio isn't overpowering. Like most games, the 100% the bass audio is extremely high. Um, but that's about it. Let's get into the actual game. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be playing through some of the game. I may do certain strategic cuts uh, just to kind of show you the narrative of the game. And then uh, try to not spoil too much. And then give you a review and tell you if I think it's worth the price. For June 15th. This game released from Critical Rabbit for $15.99 right now. That's what you can buy it on Steam for. So I'm going to tell you if I think it's worth that uh, in the upcoming review. So let's take a look. Let's get into the game and see how we how we like it. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell. And consider contacting fa family, friends, or a professional for support. I will tell you guys, I am a medical professional. I work in a hospital for a living. So this might be uh, a game that touches close to home. Let's go. I'm already feeling some vibrations on the gamepad. So pretty good support for a game of this price caliber. I mean, it's definitely an indie game, but pretty surprising that it has this much support. The sound is still very loud. We may have to adjust that. I guess this is our protagonist. Okay. Kind of creepy. Well, that's cool, but what's with the glowing eyes? Is this, is this supposed to be happening? Is this a bug? Oh, I, I see. I can actually move around here. I'm moving around in a dark room. I see. Okay. So the A or X button on the PS5 to jump. And pretty pretty similar. Okay. Now you look a lot a lot better out in the art. So we're looking like kind of like a 2D art world. Which is cool. Looks nice. Nice to see you at last. So we're named Finley. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay. Now, how do we proceed? I'm pressing buttons, but nothing's happening. Okay, that was weird. I see. We actually have to press the square button actually to proceed dialogue. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's his house plan. So obviously we're in a dream sequence. Okay. Okay, Finley, let's see if we can find what you're looking for. Okay. It's good to be out in the sun. Maybe he's aspiring to be a doctor. Maybe Finley doesn't see the sun very much. He's got a medical medical robe on. So I'm thinking he's maybe some sort of healthcare practitioner. Let's see. What are you up to, Finley? Hulamundo. 
says the house plant. So he, f he lost something. Okay. Okay. So we're going to look around. So we're only in 2D. I was checking to make sure to see if we could do anything in 3D, but it's not the case. Okay, what's this? Yes, hello. We haven't been outside in a very long time. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, guys. Hugo. So they're doing some medical jokes, some, like, I guess, STD jokes. Kind of interesting given the game's tone. I mean, the art style makes me think this game is like for either kids or young adults. Uh, but the the content, it feels more adult. Okay. Thank you, bro. Let's go. Yep, we can jump with A. Okay, so that's interesting. We actually we actually can walk on the ground. This is a very interesting control scheme, guys. So we can walk on the ground, but if we press A, we can actually, like, jump up here. Now, can we actually jump on this leap? No, we can't. Okay. But we can jump here. I see. Interesting. Okay. Can we get up to that little house plant? I feel like that's some sort of collectible. Okay. It's just a, a house plant there. Yeah, how do we get up there? We want to get up there. Dive in the water? Okay. Okay, we're going to dive in the water. Interesting. Okay. Okay, interesting. So maybe an underwater section. Yes, okay, interesting. Let's take a look here. So the swimming feels very, very, very strange with the 2D game. Like, you can kind of see... Our character model is just kind of suspended in the water. It doesn't look natural, guys. I mean, I think that's probably just a reflection of the budget. But um, I'm not sh so sure they should have went with the underwater uh, aesthetic here. Because it doesn't look good for the art. Okay. So we definitely, our fly doesn't like being underwater. Yeah, the, the water is... So we can kind of swim, but you can kind of see our character model is like stuck in the one of two orientations. It looks like the animations didn't go too well underwater. Statue from the town square. Okay. Okay, we're back on land. And you can see how different the art style looks on land and, and how much better it looks, in my opinion. I really think the actual overall art style and the actual aesthetic of the game looks really nice. But definitely the underwater section was not as strong as point. Because you could tell, like, the 
orientation. They just stuck the art in two orientations that kind of had him floating there. Interesting. Okay. I like our houseplant. They are definitely going for the slow burn introduction here. Pina gave you to me. Okay. So it makes me think just from the tone of our characters that maybe Finley doesn't have too many friends. So he's constantly looking for somebody. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's take a look with Finley. Okay. I guess we can't actually. Can we do anything? Okay, so what was, what could we do from that point? Interesting. Maybe we could jump on top. I tried, I kind of tried jumping on top, but that didn't seem to work out too well. The art I have to save the game, I really enjoy. I think the art is probably one of its stronger assets. Oh, okay. I see, we can bounce on top. That was definitely not what I was expecting. Now we're in the clouds. I guess this is all dream sequence, so it kind of makes sense. Inquit. We made another main character. Cool. Mr. Arnes. Arnes? Arnes. He's a patient of yours. He disappeared. Ah, so maybe his patient died. Maybe he's a doctor. Mm, okay. We're starting to kind of... Uh, I was taking the elevator. I think he's dead. So we may have some samba samba tones going on here. Because I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens. I don't want to presume too much. But uh, I think that that's maybe what happened. Maybe this guy is a doctor or training to be a doctor. Maybe this is the hospital ward. This doesn't look like any hospital ward I've ever seen. But I mean, it is a dream sequence, guys. Yeah, this is definitely supposed to be a hospital. I see. Got to jump over that. So mild little platforming sequences, guys. Nothing too too big, uh, but mild, mild little platforming sequences. Okay. I like how the light is. I like the lighting. I like the shading in the game. I think it's quite good. I think that there's a lot of good features, and I definitely think... The art style, the music design is quite good for a $15 game. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So Mr. Arnaz, maybe something happened to him and now our, our doctor and trainer. Okay, so there's blood on the floor. Yeah. Okay, so I think we kind of piecing together exactly what happened here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Interesting. Very grim samba tone. Okay, yep, and we're knocked out. And I'm assuming this will knock us back to... Our waking world. Interesting little prologue sequence there. You know, especially with the art style and everything, it's actually a very dark tone. Yeah. So there's a heart rate monitor. 
Medical heart rate monitor. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Okay. That's all alarm. No task. St. Ursula's. So that must be where we work. Mia. Hope you're feeling well again. So we were sick. So we got Pina. We've got Carl. Besides, you were only trying to help me find... Okay. So Pina looks like a friend of ours. Interesting. Okay. I don't want to get too much into every character, but we're definitely going to... I'm on vacation. Yeah, I'm just tr kind of trying to get a, a tone, a feeling for the game. Try to see what this is about. But there's a lot of backstory here. So we had a bump on the head. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Notes. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. Okay, so Mia may be another doctor in training like us. Call. Call is a nurse. Okay. Pina. Yeah, we so Mia Mia's Mia's an, another fellow doctor in training, it sounds like. Calls a nurse. What about Pina? Fly shop. Okay, so Pina's just a friend. Ingrid. So we're a resident, okay. Okay. And Korowalski, senior resident. He heads internal medicine. So we're an internal medicine resident, okay. Yeah, scared of her. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Holy, we don't look too good. Yeah, we don't look good at all, man. I feel that. I'm actually playing this, guys, at about 4 a.m., so before work. So uh, it's it's definitely a real thing. Sometimes insomnia can be a beast. I can definitely understand why they went with just text and no voice acting, but I do believe at least a little bit of voice acting, even in just limited lines, could really help to give personality to the characters. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. Okay, so we've been working like crazy. Okay. So we're going to know the town, maybe? Going to work? I'm not sure. Let's take a look around and kind of see the art style, actually, of the main game. Feels like we could walk up here, right? Yes, there we go. Stussy. Okay. It's a dog named Susie. Male dog, I guess. Okay. Lois Colbert's having trouble sleeping. He's worried about the store. Stationary, yeah. that's That makes total sense. Yeah, odd routine. He he just woke up and he's figure, worrying about lunch. Okay. Notes. This yeah, Susie. Okay. Susie's the only male carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. Okay. 
So these are just like random NPCs on the street. We can't interact with everybody. Okay, let's go to the bus stop maybe. Citizens bus is out of service, so no, no public transportation. This must be in America, guys. Okay. Yeah. I think that's some uh, public health commentary. So that looks like the church is this way, maybe? I can get to the Old Town and High Street. Okay. Interesting. Pillbots, the best and only pub in Porcupine. Or Porcupine Pine. Okay, so it doesn't really seem to matter which way we take because either way goes to uh, goes to the hospital, which it seems to be our destination. I'm a, I'm impressed. I mean, it seems like you're getting quite a bit for you know a fifteen dollar game, sixteen dollar game. It seems like you're getting quite a bit of content. I mean, there seems to be a lot to do. Um, it there seems to definitely be enough there, enough meat on the bones to kind of you know, have some justification for it. Let's take a look here. Goodness. So we can talk to quite a few people. Yeah. I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago, so we're very new to town. We're, this is like, we're literally just getting into town. Junior doctor. And Daryl Von Whitston's dead. Interesting. Older citizen. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So he may be a guide to the town for us, like actually be able to tell us about the citizens and things of that nature. Yeah. Well, who is this? Gulano. Long time no see. Fought as much. So we only arrived at town a few weeks ago, and we already have had a serious head injury. That's interesting. I wonder what, what happened. Okay. So we're just getting notes here on our phone of who these people are. Oh, this is a kind of cool art shot there, panning out. Statue of Ninlas Lav Hordorus, or Honorus. The founder. Okay. Hmm. So there's some definitely some things going on in the town in terms of uh, things aren't running. The water isn't running in the main town square. We have the bus is not running. I was wondering if I could go into that little alleyway, but it looks like no. I'm assuming this is up towards the hospital because there's what looks to be a hospital-oriented sign. So let's go check this out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is very strange. We have a a West trailer um near the hospital. So maybe maybe we actually have homelessness. I mean, this it's strange, guys, because this it the art style makes you think it's it's very like for kids. It's very lighthearted, but. Actually, it feels like the topics of the game are kind of adult and serious. So it's an interesting mesh there. I kind of like it, to be honest. But I, I will say this. I, I think maybe the advertising of the game may not be in line with its target audience. So let's take a look here, guys.
yeah, we know the bus isn't, uh, yeah, we know that the bus is never coming, so. That was St. Ursula's, very cool, we got a little polar bear with a heart. You squeal, we heal, okay. Very cool, I like it. Okay. So it seems like he wants to be more stoic. He wants to complain less. Balance meals. Okay. Interesting. Well, a guy can dream. Yeah, Finley, Finley feels like the anxious type. You know, I can really relate to that. He really feels like the type that doesn't have everything together and is just trying his best. Yeah. Okay. That's not something a hospital would post, but okay. That's uh, very interesting. Okay, so I think that might have been a save. So I guess this goes back out, right? Like if we leave the hospital. Yeah, we're just small little load screens. Not bad, guys. Not bad. I'm just testing some things out here. I'm just kind of trying to see. And it looks like we get an auto save there. Yeah, so... So he's basically been eating out of the vending machine, sad. To a Choco Dog right now, okay. 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 This is, um... Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, so now did we yeah we switched into our uh, like medical robes and this is where we were at last night let's see what ha what's going to happen here's Ingrid okay the accident yeah let's hear about her theory What do you think, Ingrid? Your... What? We have a name for that type of thing here in Porcupine. Or porky, Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. The term is... Klutz. Okay. Okay, so Ingrid's a troll, basically. That's funny. Okay. Okay, so he's actually alive. This Mr. Arnaz is, is still alive. Boy who survived, so they're putting in some, like, Harry Potter memes in here. Okay. Let's take a look. On the third floor. Okay. Okay. Just take a look at our notes here a little bit. Yeah, and this is all the stuff that's basically updated. Okay. So we're supposed to go to the third floor. Yeah, we'll use the elevator. And I'm going to play a little bit more, guys. I don't want to ruin the story too much. I'm going to be kind of summing up my thoughts here in a little while. Once we get just a little bit more, I want to sum up my thoughts, kind of give you an idea. Uh, I may be able to do a Let's Play or a further playthrough here in a while. But I want to give this for somebody that's going to be looking to buy the game and wants to have the whole experience for themselves. So I don't want to spoil too much of the story. I just want to kind of soak in what I can and kind of give you my thoughts in terms of how the gameplay is, the art style, what uh, what demographic it's targeting, and if I think you should buy it, basically. Um, let's take a look around here real quick. Oh, there's our, our senior, senior resident that's overseeing us. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bus never comes.
Okay, we are one. Yeah. Seems pretty serious tone. Which makes sense. I mean, that would be what a senior doctor, the tonality would be, to be honest. Mrs. Martin. Pain in her upper abdomen. Pain in the heart. Interesting. Stomach also. Okay. Stomach also makes sense. She was having pain in the upper abdomen, pain underneath the heart. Makes sense. Finley will take care of the medication for Miss Martin. Now, this is a little bit inaccurate, guys. That would be something that the doctor would tell the nurse to do. Uh, or that he would actually get Finley to go take a look over the patient and then maybe consult with the senior uh, physician. Definitely for something as as light as like stomach medication, he probably wouldn't even have to do much consulting. So that's a little bit inaccurate, but you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Because it sounds like we're not medical school anymore. Like this is actually, we're already... Uh, a resident so I feel like for stomach medication that's a little bit inaccurate but of course it's a video game you know you can kind of forgive it Larissa hmm having trouble breathing maybe Okay. Down at the school? Skate park? I can't skate that well. Only just got a skateboard. Okay. Okay, so tell us about the skateboard. Okay, so telling us a lot of stuff that may not pertain uh, to the, the question. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes. I see. You got to smoke. It's all part of the deal. I didn't want to be a chicken. Ah, I see. Okay. Took a drag. Couldn't believe. So maybe an asthma attack. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I would say definitely an asthma attack. Yep. Either that, maybe like bronchitis. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Mr. Willie Arnaz. Okay. Yeah, so that's where he's a permanent guest. Old timer. So act accordingly. Interesting. So this is this is the guy that brought us here from the first place. So let's go see Mr. Arnaz. And then after that, uh, we will kind of wrap up. Because again, I don't want to give away too much of the story. That would be in another video that I might make. I want to kind of give you a review. I want to give you an idea of if you should buy this game for that price. So let's take a look here. P31. So we're actually going to the other side of the floor. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at Mr. Arnaz.
try to figure out a little bit of this mystery. Just enough. Mr. Hendrick. This incident. So what is this incident? We know it's got to do with Finley. We know it's got to do with this Mr. Arnaz. But what has actually been going on? Okay. So maybe this is the superintendent of the hospital. Like maybe he's one of the high ups in the hospital. Uh, that would probably not be what a hospital would say, but okay. So they want to move him out of the hospital. Okay. I don't feel like he's telling us the honest truth. I feel like this guy's being a little bit dodgy. Let's take a look at the patient and see. So this is right before lunch. His injured leg. Moderate concussion. Okay, change the dressing. Okay. No, that's not something. Yeah, that's not something that any doctor would ask. No, they would say change the dressing yourself. Um, I mean, I guess that was a joke, but... Yes, maybe. He doesn't care. He just wants lunch. Yeah. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the button shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen Be as quick as possible. Okay. Don't release any button as long as they're displayed. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, the button shown are not on the PS5. This is showing like Xbox configuration because it's saying A instead of X. So that may be a little bit difficult, guys. So I'm going to say that's a little bit of a negative to the game right there. I don't want to make too big of a deal of it. But yeah, that is something to consider. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Am I supposed to release here? What am I supposed to do here? I'm just holding it here. What am I supposed to do from this point? Ah, I see. Ah, I see. You have to press this. Okay. Ah, I see. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's an interesting little mini game, guys. Basically, you have to press the buttons, but then even when they're coming off the screen, you basically have to release to get the next set of buttons. So, yeah. Okay. Mr. Kowalski. <laughs> okay. Okay.
So that's part of the game. That's part of the actual medical mini game, which is pretty cool. I won't lie. I actually kind of liked it. I take a little bit of, you know, away for the buttons, like not being mapped correctly. But I think it was pretty good. So, guys, I'm going to wrap up there. I don't want to get too much into the game. I wanted to give you kind of an overview of the gameplay, get, give you an idea of what you would be uh, getting if you bought this game for, I believe it's $15.99. Again, like I said, this game just released yesterday, June 15th. I want to get this review out there. That way it can give you uh, some idea if you want to buy it. Here's my recommendations. I think the options menu is rather average, but well done. I think the art style of this game is really good. I really like the art style. I think the 2D aesthetic is really good. I think Finley looks really good. I think almost all the animal design looks really good. The advertising, the art style does clash a little bit with the tone because the tone is very adult, guys. And the art style, I feel, is more aimed for either kids or young adults, uh, teenagers, young adults. Um, but the, the subject matter makes me think this is more like a, you know, 25, 35, 45 type of game. There's some jokes that kind of relate towards, like a, we were saying, like sexually transmitted diseases. There's death in the game. There's a somber tone. Um, I don't know if, if I was a kid or a teenager. I remember what I was playing back as a teenager. I don't know if this would have resonated so well with me. Um, so I'm thinking it's more for an adult audience. That is interesting given the art style. Um, is it worth $15.99? Yeah, I do think it seems like it's fairly well made for an indie game. Um, it seems like everything works very well. There doesn't seem to be any bugs. I would say definitely go ahead and, and, and pull the trigger here, buy it. I'm not sure how much gameplay you're going to get out of it, but I feel like this is probably going to be between like a 10 to 20 hour game. Um, it's definitely going to be more than a couple hours, you can tell just... Just from the pace of gameplay so far, it feels like we're still in the prologue, and we've already been playing for a while. So I really enjoyed this game, guys. I would recommend you pick it up if you like, uh, if you like like indie platformers, if you like adventure games, if you like mystery or kind of like a thriller, kind of like something lighthearted, but something to kind of keep your brain going. And if you like kind of like little mini games and logic puzzles, you're probably gonna like this game. I would stay away from this game if you need kind of action all the time or if you don't like reading a lot of text boxes because I think one of the major cons of this game, I think even a little bit of voice acting just in the major lines or in the impactful lines would have really helped the game a lot. And I think for a modern audience, this was very, very often the case in older games where it was just text only. But, you know, we're not Baldur's Gate 1 anymore. Um, I think at this day and age to not have voice acting, you know, that makes me more reminded of like the five ninety nine to ten ninety nine game. Once fifteen twenty, you know, I can kind of see it, but I do think even a very small amount of voice acting would have helped a lot in this game. But I still really like this game, guys. I'll give it uh, you know, a solid, solid, you know, rating. I would say I would put this game somewhere in the, like the sevens, maybe the seven point five, seven point eight. I don't see anything outstanding yet. The characters didn't really like super draw me in, but I feel it was solid and I would definitely play the game and kind of learn more. I am interested about the town and I probably will do uh, a let's play and kind of explore the game a little bit more. If you like this guys, please crush that like button. Please subscribe. It means so much to me. I do these small reviews. I do movie reviews. I do let's plays. I do League of Legends and other multiplayer content and I'm trying to help other anxious gamers like myself. Really enjoyed you sticking with me, guys. I hope this review helped you. And thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.